All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, let's worry about, uh, let's not worry about it. Let's go ahead and make a navigation bar with confidence. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my code just a little bit to keep it uh, less confusing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new HTML5 div tag, and this is called nav. So we're going to go ahead and close this out right about here. You can comment. There's only one nav opening and closed div tag we're going to be using. So uh, I'm not going to comment, but if you want to comment to that, just let you know that this is your closing div tag, go ahead and go for it. And in an HTML, there's certain HTML tag structure called unordered list and uh, list items that help us from not having to do like a total CSS for each one of these things. So like this is a great example of when to do an unordered list or an ordered list, just like this. So we wouldn't have to do CSS for this one, then for this one, and then this one, this one. We can just do this. Check it out. We can go UL stands for unordered list. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to close this out. UL just like that. And then our list items in here, let's have some pages. Let's create some pages. We'll call it like home, close out your list item, maybe services, close that bad boy out. We'll say um, contact, about us. Let's save that. Now let's reload our web page. Okay, perfect. Well, it's not perfect. I mean, that's the content that we wanted, but we haven't added our CSS yet. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go up here and look at your, your opening nav tag and set this to ID anything you want. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and call it top nav because it makes sense. And drop this down a sec. Okay, great. So for our CSS, what we wanna do is we wanna find our CSS page first, our CSS file. Okay, so right underneath our wrapper down here, let's go ahead and call our, what do we call it, top nav? I believe so. And let's go ahead and we'll say display in line, which is going to make these go from vertical to horizontal. So it's going to lay them out like home, services, contact, and about us, just like that. Say display in line, font, family. We'll give it something else so it's a little bit different than our paragraph text. I'll just call this Helvetica. I can spell that right. All right, font size. Keep it simple at 20 pixels. And we'll give it a margin from left to right. So we'll do 0px, which stands for top and bottom. And then left and right is the second one. And we'll say 20px. OK, how come our display inline didn't work? Well, let's go back up here and look at it. Everything else was called for in our CSS file. The font family changed. The font size changed. And it created a margin of 20 pixels left to right. Well, now it should have. But Hackman didn't display in, did not display inline. That's because the browser isn't smart enough to just determine what we're thinking. So it's looking at UL and the list item inside here as well. So we need to go ahead and call those as well. So I'm going to do let's go back to our CSS page, top nav, and we want the list items to correlate with this as well, which is pretty much just talking about this one because everyone everything else is already checked out. So let's reload that. Much better. Okay, but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add a border to the UL, which is our unordered list. So it's not just our list items because it would just do a border individually. Let's go ahead and just do the whole UL. So what we're going to do, let's go to top nav, UL, and let me scroll down a little bit. Okay, so what do I want to do? We'll go do border, top, and I'm going to do one pixel, black, which is 0, 0, 0. And I want it to be solid. I don't want it to be dotted. I want it to be solid because dotted looks horrible in my opinion. But who the heck am I? Border bottom, one pixel by the exact same. Let's do it black and let's have it set to solid. Margin. We'll do uh, 
going to be 30 pixels top and bottom, 15 pixels left and right. And for padding, 10 pixels top and bottom, zero pixels left and right. Let's save that. Now let's check out our border. Boom, that looks a lot better. You might want to take off or take down the uh, the top and bottom padding if you want to. If you don't have a problem with that, you think this looks okay? Perfect. All right, guys. Well, we just created our yeah, we just created our navigation bar in our HTML5 tutorials. So make sure you guys have this correct code right here. If you need to pause the video, by all means, as well as this code down here. All right, guys. Good luck with this. I'll see you in the next video. We talk about social media icons.